Well, hello there. I'm Peter Kay, and I have a roulette-related puzzle for you this time. Now, look, I'm no gambler, so I'm not sure why, but roulette has always fascinated me. I guess there's something about the feeling of suspense as the ball bounces around the wheel before it finally settles into one particular slot. I remember watching on one occasion in amazement because I saw the ball spin around the wheel several times and then land in slot number one. But then it almost immediately jumped out and landed in the adjacent slot number 20. And from there it jumped 20 slots around the wheel to number 25. It then bounced 25 slots further on to slot number 28, and from there, <laughs> amazingly, the ball bounced 28 slots all the way back to slot number 1. Now, as I said, I'm not a gambling man, but I think it's a pretty safe bet that you probably don't believe me when I say this really happened. Well, you're probably right. Maybe I dreamt it, not sure. But it did lead me to ask myself the following questions. What's the longest unrepeated sequences of jumps like this that the ball can make around the wheel travelling in a clockwise direction, an anti-clockwise direction, and in a random direction? As a bonus, find another arrangement of the numbers on the wheel that maximises the length of the sequence for each of these cases. As always, I'll give you a moment to think about it, then I'll give you the answer. Oh, OK, answering the first two questions probably wasn't much of a challenge. You can solve them easily enough by trial and error. Or if you really want to get fancy, you can create a graph of the jump sequences like this and then look for the longest path through that. For the clockwise direction, the longest path contains a sequence of 13 distinct numbers. And the graph of the anti-clockwise case contains a sequence of 7 numbers. Creating a graph for the random sequence isn't quite so easy. This is the clearest graph I could create, and even then it still looks like an explosion in a spaghetti factory. Nevertheless, if you choose your path carefully, you'll find that there's actually two routes through this graph containing 30 numbers each. This happens to be one of them. As for the bonus questions, you may have found that simply numbering the wheel like this gives you a sequence of 36 numbers. And that's true. But unfortunately, it's not a valid solution to the puzzle because not all the odd numbers on the roulette table are red and not all the even numbers are black. Here's one that does work, and there's hundreds of other valid solutions as well, but none longer than 36 steps. Any thoughts to why that is? Let me know in the comments below if you can work out why. For the random case, there's many arrangements that contain a sequence of 37 numbers, Here's one where all the clockwise jumps begin at a blank number and, except for number 20, all the anti-clockwise jumps start at a red number. And that's all I have for you this time. Until next time, cheerio.